Our society has become increasingly dependent on technology for business, school, and everyday life. As a result, it's crucial that we teach our students about this technology, how to use it wisely, and to make them good digital citizens. Recently, Frisco ISD achieved a goal of becoming a one-to-one -one or a one-to-all district. What that means is, is that every student in Frisco ISD has access to a mobile digital device supplied by the district. We've also supplied our teachers with these devices. Every aspect of the learning experience is influenced by technology and how we use that technology to educate our students. Well, technology allows for all the different future-ready skills. So collaboration, critical thinking, being a good citizen. <laughs> So um, this allows the students to practice a lot of those skills and it opens them up to be more innovative and use programs and different online sites that will help them design and create presentations and collect data and information and do research and bring it all together in um, their lives and their professional futures. Students these days definitely love to be on the computer more than anything. Um, they like to play games, so if we can take a regular activity and make it more of an escape room or a game, it's definitely more fun for the students. And I find that they're all more engaged because they have their device they're working on. They feel like they can take chances and not necessarily have to worry about everybody seeing whether they're right or wrong. We also can provide a lot of choices for the students and overall that just provides a more positive environment. Our teachers have the opportunity to um, plan their lessons using different innovative technology, which is nice. Uh, they used to have to check out carts, which means the teachers had to plan ahead and had to check the calendar to make sure the carts were available at the time. Now this opens it up that they can use Chromebooks daily if they need to. This also allows the teachers to um, go outside the four walls of the classroom because the students can get answers from pretty much anywhere. It also opens the opportunity for teachers to do a little lesson in digital citizenship and to discuss the validity of websites. And it also allows the kids to collaborate and to um, share their work. And it kind of opens a, a bigger audience and a, and a bigger view of the world. And, ways to collect information, which is a skill they will use for the rest of their life. It's really changed the way we do everything. So when I plan activities and I plan instruction, I'm not limited in what resources we have. And so um, we don't use the computers all the time, but when we do, it's really purposeful. And I think the, the great thing is we're able to teach explicitly, you know, how to use the technology responsibly. Um, and I've noticed that they enjoy times that they're not using it. So they love it when we have it, but they also enjoy times when they can be more tactile and um, use hands on things instead of staring at a screen. Our approach to lesson planning has definitely changed as well. A couple of the things that have been really beneficial is we can get instant feedback from students. So we can do quick checks and we'll know right away what students got the material, which students are still struggling in areas. We can identify the common uh, misconceptions that the students are having and we can adjust our lessons right there based on the needs of the students. I'm really grateful that our students have this opportunity. It's an extra layer for their education that was missing before and it's a barrier we no longer have to worry about.